You played the game, went through the slog of nearly 80 hours, and got to see O'Brien warn you of the upcoming doom that awaits all mankind. He himself has been infected by the virus, yet still seems to retain high motor functions and some superhuman strength, claiming that the powers are his because Nero infected his own staff, and now they're coming for you. I'm Andy Burkowski, and I want to take a look at what the secret ending of Days Gone means and where the game might be going from here. I think at first we need to look at what the virus is itself. After scanning through all of the intel in the game, we do have a pretty clear idea of what the virus is. At the Cloverdale facility in Oregon, Sarah was part of a team testing plant viabilities and attempting to change the chemical properties of common plants like wild ginger and grapefruits, when that research was then repurposed by the corporation in charge. Sarah lost her clearance and then steps in, unfortunately, the harbinger of death, research assistant David. Okay, hey, who's, who's David? It's David what? Gorman. He was this research intern. Although he did have good intentions, Gorman hacked into the now confiscated research to see what they were doing, found out it was something sinister, stole samples of this plague, and went to something called the Green Expo in Portland, hoping to blow the lid off the conspiracy. Instead, he was infected with the virus, and all the people that were at that conference went home on planes, a week later, 2.5 billion people were dead. Knowing what we know now about the ending, it could mean that this mass infection was actually part of a plan. Perhaps Nero wanted more people to get infected so they could attest this accelerated form of evolutionary adaption, or Nero is just looking at this mass extinction and asking themselves how they can come out on top. If the infection doesn't kill you, it turns people ages 12 to 60 usually into a new species, Homo sapiens mutanus turba. According to Neurotapes, the virus attacks through the lymph system of the body, similar to cancer, but instead of the cellular deterioration that we get with cancer, the virus seems to have a will, perhaps through pheromones, but th there is in some of these tapes a postulant that maybe this was planned all along. Hordes, the main enemy of the game, are created, we believe, through the shit and piss and pheromones that they leave in the world, adapting into sort of a hive mind, an evolutionary imperative. Not to keep boring you, but we have seen many instances of accelerated evolution thanks to the virus, with some freakers still wearing jewelry, eating things beyond human flesh, making nests in places they used to live. The bleachers and reachers are an entirely newly developed species all in of themselves. So it does seem like Nero throughout the game was gathering more data on the virus in order to perfect it and use it on their own staff. All the Nero personnel that Deacon meets were told they would be killed if they ever took off their spacesuits in the wilderness, seemingly for their own safety, but I think it's to maintain the slow trickle of the virus material that's coursing through their bodies. The mastermind behind everything at Nero seems to be someone named Dr. Anderson. He's named as the man in charge in all of the intel and even in some cases chastises O'Brien whenever he mentions his concerns with what they're doing. If there is one main bad guy that will be in the DLC or sequel, good money, it's Dr. Anderson. I also have a, another long shot here, I'm calling it now, an AWOL Nero agent named Sinclair, who was tasked with taking care of the corpse disposal sites in the game, has decided to go to a place called Ciro's Beach in an attempt to stop Nero. I'm thinking there's a very good chance this individual will either start the new DLC or that could be directly our next location. Finally, when looking at where this game needs to go, we have to ask the question, how will this new virus adaptation affect the millions of freakers that are in the world? Could this, in some really strange way, cure them, quote unquote? This would extend the storyline with Sarah, but perhaps at a great cost to their own mortality if they were cured. Perhaps it will turn them into kind of a, a slavish band of super soldiers. I'm very interested in where this could be going. I think there's a lot of hints. I think we have some really good ideas of what's next. What do you guys think is next for Days Gone?